I Bhuvan. Welcome to Sri Lanka, the small wonder. Hi folks, today we are in Matara, Sri Lanka, the southern capital. And this is the star port. And there are two star ports in the world. One is in South Africa, and other one is in Sri Lanka. Hope you're going to enjoy this. Thank you. In 1640, the Dutch completed the main fort at Mathara but found to be vulnerable from attacks coming from land. In 1761, the Dutch were forced to flee as a result of the Mathara rebellion, in which Sinhalese forces, backed by Candian Kingdom, attacked and took control of the Fort. In seventeen sixty three, the Dutch regained control of the fort, and that year commenced construction of another smaller fort on the east bank of Nilwala river in order to protect the main fort from attacks originating from the river. The star fort was built to a unique shape of six pointed star with space of 12 large cannons to cover approaches from all directions. The outer wall is approximately 7.5 meters wide and is surrounded by a 6 meters deep moat. The rampart walls of the fort are constructed out of granite rock and coral. The fort was built to hold a smaller garrison, put supplies and enough ammunition to withstand an attack before being reinforced from the main fort. The fort also had a two prison cells and 2.75 meter diameter well in its center to supply water. The construction of the star fort was completed in 1765 and is embossed over the main gate with the Dutch East India Company insignia and the coat of arms of the governor flanked by two rampion clans. The entrance gate is also emblazoned Rudak van Eyck 1763 commemorating the Dutch governor of Ceylon, Lubert Jan Baron Van Eyck. The roof of the building originally was roofed with Kajan leaves, which were later replaced with clay tiles. The fort is said to be the last major defense post built by the Dutch, but never had the chance to prove its effectiveness. In 1796, the fort was handed over to British with the surrender of Sri Lanka's territory by the Dutch. The British used it as an administrative office and quarters by the district engineer of the public works departments. In 1941, there was an attempt by the State Council of Ceylon to hand over the fort to the Department of Archaeology, which did not take place. In 1965, it was used by the Urban Council of Matara as a public library until 1975 when it was acquired by the Department of Archaeology. The Department of Archaeology carried out an extensive restoration between 1986 and 1988 in which much of the modern structures were removed and the original appearance restored. In 2012, with the aid from the Dutch government, the drawbridge was restored. Thank you for your time. That was the staff of Martin. 
and hope you enjoy. If you want to know more about Sri Lanka, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking with just a little flight information. Captain has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. Are you born? Are you born? Imagination. Sky is the limit. Are you born? Come to an emotionally charged lounge experience. Ya Sri Lanka, small wonder. The wanderer's tourist paradise in Asia. If you like to know more about Sri Lanka, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.